if I were to describe week 47 of Zer, I would use the word mediocrity. He's in the reef. That crazy Zer. Being in the reef. Alright, let's see what he's got. Items belong to the Starting at the bottom. Pulse rifle, scout rifle, and sniper rifle telemetries to level up those weapons faster. We have plasma drive and emerald coil for those rare blue quality sparrows. Five heavy ammo packs for one strange coin, and one mode of light for two strange coins. Titans. You are getting the no backup plans with an average roll of 103, maybe slightly above average. Increased melee attack speed and special weapon reload speed are both very good. The main bonus increases the duration of Force Barrier. Doesn't make it stronger, just longer lasting. Unfortunately, this exotic is pretty low tier right now, which sucks because it has a ton of synergy with some of the other Defender Titan perks and talents. Unless you're going for something gimmicky, no backup plans are probably going to sit in your bank for the next little while. However, one reason you might consider getting them is on the off chance that they get a buff in the Taken King. I wouldn't put it past Bungie to buff some of the lesser used exotics in the game, and no backup plans are definitely in that group. But if you're looking for an immediate or a short-term purchase, you can skip these. Hunters, the Knucklehead Radar is for you. With a below average roll of 106 strength. Grenade hits restore melee energy, that's alright. More super energy from non-guardian kills, that's pretty good. Main bonus is where your radar remains visible while aiming primary weapons. Sounds good when you first hear it, but other helms and exotics are generally better. If you're the kind of person who cares about having their radar when aiming, you're probably someone who already has this, or has a trials weapon, or has something reforged for third eye. Most of the community has adapted to playing without the radar active while aiming. That's not to say that Knucklehead Radar is bad, but this is going to be a personal preference exotic depending on how much you value that radar while aiming. You can probably go without it, though. Warlocks. You're getting Claws of Ahemkara with a pretty good total stat roll of 126 stats. Much like the no backup plans, you also get increased melee attack speed and special weapon reload speed. The main bonus gives you an additional charge for both your Sunsinger and Voidwalker melee attacks, which sounds good. I want to say that these are underrated, because I think that they are, but it's just that other stuff tends to just edge these out. The Ram is obviously a very popular pick for PvP for both subclasses, with Voidfang vestments coming up slightly behind it, and in PvE for Voidwalkers, Nothing Monocles kick some serious butt with an Energy Drain build. I can see these having value as a Sunsinger in PvE for those extra flame shields in case things go crazy, but it's not really the end of the world if you don't have that. I don't know, I, I want to find more uses for these, but at 2.30 in the morning I'm not really thinking of any. If you skipped out on Claws of Ahemkara, it's not a big deal, but if you wanted to try them out, I wouldn't exactly blame you. Suros Regami is the exotic weapon of the week. Once a dominant force in the Crucible, it has now been shelved as being one of the slowest killing weapons among exotic weaponry. However, there have been players utilizing it like a high-powered fast-firing scout rifle with moderate success, and auto rifles are indeed getting a buff in the Taken King, perhaps enough to bring the Suros back to partial fame. This is a long-term purchase suggestion. Buy one now, level it up, and then stick it in the bank until the Taken King, and then maybe we'll see how it is. If you're looking for an immediate purchase, or the short term, you can probably skip it, but if you have some money to spare, I would say grab it and save it. Exotic Helms are your engram of the week, so those looking for Celestial Nighthawk, the Ram, Helm of Saint-14, Symbiote, Mask of the Third Man, or maybe Obsidian Mind should go digging. That is your Xur for week 47, though. We are almost at a year of Xur. It's crazy. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all next time.